Silkiara Tunnel has been in news since the last 15 days and understanding the geology behind it is really important. This topic is highly important for students from geography optional, from geology optional as well as students of general studies. The idea here is the real reason why it happens is yet to be uh, found once the people are out of the tunnel but so far what has been identified the main reason is the slip circle failure. Slip circle failure is also also known as the rotational failure and it is also called as the circular failure so what happens is landslide occurs when a mass of the soil or a rock actually moves along its own surface and this is what is called as a circular failure so as you can see in the picture here uh, along this part there is a rotation or the movement that occurs now this uh, silky ara tunnel is part of the 800 kilometer uh, chardham route which has to be laid down and the region between Silkiara and Barcourt is really important but the most important is the geological constraint because this is a region which has hard as well as the soft rock region when the region is of soft rock you need support base for those to be established also this region has slates and limestone shale stones which are uh, layered so there have to be wedges that have to be built in uh, also uh, there was exploratory drilling which was done in this region now when exploratory drilling was done it was just three samples which were collected and it was believed that the samples that are collected is not that sufficient so when we usually talk about failures there are four common failures one is the plane failure so as you can see it's a simple plane that shift a wedge which is a kind of uh, v-shaped structure uh, a wedge shaped structure not a, actually a v-shaped structure that slits uh, circular when it rotates along its own axis and it moves forward so it's called as the circular or the rotational failure also known as the slip circle failure as it has been uh believed in the case of the Silkiara tunnel and finally the toppling where the top layer actually moves out. Now in this region of Silkiara only 20% of the rock was considered as quality rock and the rest was fair poor or very poor and therefore this issue was to be brought into more uh, importance also the central uh, the main central thrust which is the region where the indian plate and the eurasian plate uh, the indian plate subducts the eurasian plate and this is the area where uh, most of the earthquake or the seismic activity usually occur in this belt also when there is government guidelines if a tunnel is 1.5 kilometers long or more than that in that case escape passage has to be laid down Silkiara tunnel was believed to be is around 4.5 kilometers long but there was no escape tunnel that was laid down also uh, this had an um, this was believed to have an economic imp uh, environmental impact because it was believed that uh, 200 meters below the the uh, the the tunnel would be the area where the river is passing now in case the tunnel drilling or um, uh, some construction breach takes place what would happen the aquifer would be affected so there are three types of failures that are marked here one is considered the toe failure now toe failure is at the base phase failure occurs a little above the base and the base failure occurs when it is below the toe and in that case if the failure occurs it is called as the base failure so toe failure face failure and base failure are three types of circular failures that can occur and identifying the exact one is yet to be done but rotational failures can be seen where you have infinite slopes in the case of dams or in the case of embankments that are there now some of the important things that we discussed already the main central thrust um, then the new austrian tunneling method NATM. Now new Austrian tunneling method is really important because when the section does not have complete hard rocks, it has soft rocks in it, there has to be additional support that has to be given. Now this support system comes from griders, concrete or motor art, which is applied with high velocity to the surface and the next important thing which is required is the tunnel seismic prediction. Now uh, when uh, there is tunneling which is done, it is very important that you take extra precaution as we said you got breach a aquifer area also it is required that a seismic survey is done and this seismic survey can be done through tunnel seismic prediction so this helps us to maintain the safety while you are doing the construction it would help you analyze what is 100 meters ahead so with that precision 
the things can be brought forward so that's why it's really really important to understand why a proper geological and environmental approach is required before uh, obstructing or doing any modifications with the environment so this is um, um, silkiara tunnel is one of the live examples of such cases that we have demonstrated here uh, so more information and case studies like this can be actually in incorporated into your answer writing when you are writing for your mains and definitely this is again an important topic for your prelims as well thanks for joining in for more relevant information on geology and geography optional follow the links below thank you